How to create product images with Amazon API. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we will be talking about Amazon API and how you can create product images with Amazon API. Now, some of you might say, hey, I already have Sidestripe. Why do I need API for? Well, guess what? Sidestripe has now removed the text plus picture option. And now you have to go for APIs to be able to actually use product images. So with the new update in Sidestripe, they are specifically removing the ability to create images and text. Plus images from Sidestripe have been, you know, what primarily a lot of Amazon associates have been using. So you will have to go for an improved Amazon associates account to be able to further sell your product and use product images. So if you are using something like ghost.org or Wix or Squarespace, perhaps you're just using Sidestripe for your images on your WordPress website, you are going to have to update everything. So if you're ready to get started, let's jump in and get into using APIs. So the first step you have to do is log on to your Amazon Associates account. Now, once you have logged on to your Amazon Associates account, you want to navigate to tools over here. And once you click on tools, you will see your site stripe option, but in site stripe right now, you're no longer having a image option. You're only going to have a text option. So now you have to go into tools and click on product advertising API. Now, there are a few prerequisites to be able to use APIs and you guys will see I currently don't have improved APIs. This is a sample account. So for you to actually be able to do this, you need to have completed three qualifying sales for 180 days, have an improved associates account, comply with the associates program operating agreement. So you do have to meet these requirements beforehand, but I'll show you guys the further steps on how you can uh, take these APIs. Now, within uh, this section, if you do have an improved account, you will see your secret api and a api key so you want to open those up and copy those and once you do that you want to scroll to the bottom of this page so at the bottom of this page you have a resource center now in your resource center you want to click on scratchpad now once you open up the scratchpad over here you will see on the left section you have a few different options and from here you want to click on get items now once you click on get items you have to put in your basic parameters so you are going to select amazon if you're using amazon for a different country you can select a alternating amazon so amazon canada or amazon um, you know whichever country that you are in then you will have your partner tags so this is going to be your amazon store id which you can find directly on your amazon associates account so if i go back into my associates account you will see this is my store id and you just want to copy this store ID and you're going to put this in over here. Now, once you put this in, you have two keys that you will find over here. So in that API tool section, the product advertising APIs, you will find those two keys over here and you are going to put them in. So one is going to be the access key and one is going to be the secret key. So you're just going to put this in and sometimes this can be a bit technical it can feel a bit tedious but it's very easy if you follow along step by step so once you have done that you have the next section which is the get items section so in your get items section you have item id and the item id is going to be the asin number so where can you find the asin number well just open up your product of choice let's say it's this one over here and once you open up your product of choice, you can scroll and in this product information section, if you scroll, you will find the ASI number over here. So this is the ASI number. This is a unique number for each product. So you're going to click on copy over here and then you're going to go on ahead and paste it. Now, once you paste that, once you have your request parameters in that you are going to paste your item, 
Then you have resources. So in resources, what we actually want is images. So for images, you have a few different options. You can select all images that you want. You can select image primary large, image primary medium, like that. You can choose however um, many images you want. So whichever ones you want. You guys can see for this product, we have, you know, quite a few different images. So let's say I want all of those images. You can select all or i'll just select this one this one this one like that so once i have selected the images i can select a parameter now in this parameter you can choose a condition and more but we don't need any conditions to be added to this we only want product images so it's really simple once you do that you are going to click on run request and your images will be rendered over here now because i don't have an access key or secret key i can't get an image so it's very pivotal that you are going to improve your amazon account before you get into creating product images or receiving product images with api now, one other thing to note is that with these APIs, you have to, if you're integrating these into WordPress, you need to learn a little bit of code to be able to accurately, you know, adjust the padding, adjust the margins, alignment sizes, all of that can be edited with code on WordPress. You can do it manually, but that can be a bit difficult. So now a lot of you might wonder, hey, I also don't have an improved Amazon account. How should I take those images and start promoting on my WordPress website because I am still promoting? So one thing to note is that if you don't have product images with Sitestripe anymore, you guys can see my particular browser as well. I only have the text link. So this is only a text link that I can generate. I no longer have image functionality. And if I do want images, I would have to do, you know, it's going to ruin the image quality, but because you don't have any other alternate, this is what you're going to have to do. You're going to have to take a screenshot of the image, or you can open the full image up like this and take a screenshot, and then you will have to open this up. Now, I don't recommend this method. I'm just saying that if you don't have any other alternate options, then you can just go ahead and do this. Really, it's your only option out there. So just take the image like this, and I'll take the other one. So we have our image somewhere over here, like this, and open up your image. And then you can just go on ahead and edit your image as well, like this, go into the crop, and then you can just crop the image, like so. Now, this is only in the situation where you really need to still put in images and you can't find, and you know, your account is not getting an improved account, it's not becoming an improved account, and you have no other alternate, then you can use this method. Otherwise, always, always go for actual API images. So, I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions or queries, leave those in the comment box down below. I would love to know what you guys have to say.